Hey guys, how's everybody doing? I hope you all are well and hanging in and, uh, you know, just hanging in during this crazy stuff we got going on. I am staying super busy. I am trying to finish up lots of projects that I had started, um, some customs. This is a custom order that I finally finished. Uh, one of my repeat customers, she's, she saw the other journal that I made like this. And if you go back in my videos, you can see the other one that I found this super cool book. Um, I love the illustrations and I love the story. It's called, we were tired of living in a house. And, um, she found another copy of that and sent it to me. And she said, um, you know, if you, if you would like to, if you don't mind, would you make me a journal out of it? And if you don't, you can make one for yourself. And I was like, sure, I'll make one for you. And she said, whenever. So I started on this um, a couple of months ago and I've had it all together, but then I've just slowly been adding other things to it. And then she really likes the charm. So I made her a charm that has this, you know, just a bunch of, bunch of fun, um, fibers and ribbons and stuff and some wooden beads I tied to it and then I had these buttons that I completely forgot about that I have in my stash that they were gifted to me and they're really cool and I thought this would be super cool on here um it almost looks sort of like an arrowhead even though you know it's blue I just I don't know I just thought it would really be cool on here so I wire wrapped it and then just took a little um jump ring and added it to this um uh, tassel charm and then there's a removable uh, charm with all these other really cool things on it. I put her a butterfly and some dice and those really cool metal buttons that I got from a friend and um, they still haven't had their estate sale yet, bless their hearts. Um, and just really cool vintage buttons and little pieces and like a little turtle and a little octopus. So this is, since this is sort of an outdoor, you know, very outdoorsy type of book, I thought those things were and about kids and stuff. I just thought all those things were really fitting. And then I did her the tie. She wanted it similar to the style of the other book. So it is similar, but definitely, you know, um, not the same. So I used some of the same types of fabrics and stuff, but um, this one's got a little bit more blue in it and uh, different buttons, of course. So, and this book was in really good shape. And then I did her a really scrappy tie that goes around it and like I said I added more I added more blues and stuff in this one I think she'll really like that so there are three signatures in this book and then what I've done is I just took some elastic and I put her up made her a little file folder in there and just tucked a bunch of goodies in it so if she wants to she can add she can add eyelets to it later if she wants to or when she's done with it she can just take this out and you know undo the elastic okay and I didn't have to do as much doctoring on this one because this book was in really good shape so I left the back cover I did add the book corners for her and um just really I love this book and this cover was in the whole book was in really really good shape so on the inside let me make sure I'm in frame there we go, because it's pretty big. So on the inside, what I did was I used a different, I used a different piece of fabric. This is some gingham that Jessica had sent me. I love these colors. It's like a red and gray. And then I covered, um, I also got some, and it's gonna, it's gonna rip a little bit here, but that's okay. I just like the grunge look of this, and she wanted it grungy. So this was a piece of that um, railroad ledger that Jessica Rapp sent me and then I made pockets and then I hooked I just made some little sort of you know little pieces little banner type pieces and stitched them on and added the pocket and then I hooked a little I took a little garment pin and added one of my little scrappy flowers and then this is a really cool vintage map page so I added this in here so this is a polar projection map of the world and this um i think this is from the 60s i believe it may be oh i think it's from the 60s it was a book i picked up in wilmington anyway i thought this was kind of cool so i put it in here 
um, and she can, you know, use it wherever she wants to. And then one of my little tags that I made out of a little, um, what are these books called? The little telltale books. These are super vintage little small books. And I just made some tags out of some of these, I thought it was little kids. So there's over there's over a hundred pages in here, um, including the the actual story itself. There's a pocket here, and then there's um, vintage, you know, book pages, writing paper, the actual uh, story, the whole story is in here. And I did this one a little bit different. Most of the story is in the first and last signature and there's one or two pieces in the middle just the way the book was set up but this super cool book vintage ledger scrapbook paper there's a lot of blank space for her to do what she wants i think it would be super cool to you know grunge it up and stamp and you know draw or put your pictures on um especially if you're a big you know, family that likes to travel and you like to camp and you go to the beach and you know, you've got kids and all that stuff is, it's really cool. So this is um, 1969. So I don't think, I really don't think they did a lot of reprints of this particular book. They do have another one, but it's not, um, that's called We Were Tired of Living in a House, but it's not this version. Um, it's a newer version, but it's not, not this one. It's totally different. So I made a little, um, pocket right here so this is where they're packing up because they're telling them they're tired of living in the house this is we were tired of living in the house so they're packing their stuff up this one um all right i'm gonna try not to ramble too much so they moved out and they moved into a tree and i did different you know, size pages in here. There's several little pockets. Beautiful, beautiful illustrations. Just, just incredible. Vintage music paper. I put some, I did some paper tabs that I sewed on and then I did some little fabric, um, fabric tabs, like the little ruffle with some other quilt pieces that I got from Ju um, Julie. Love that vintage ledger, that came from Renee. This is just some cardstock that I kind of extended this part of this page and added that, folded it over. Another big map with a pocket. This is a flip out. This is an end page from um, from a book and it's kind of grungy, but I thought it would be cool in here just to give some extra space. So that's the first signature. There's lots of space in between the way I spaced this out. I made it a pretty big spine. She likes um, chunky books and she likes to add a lot of stuff to her books. So I tried to give her a lot of room. <clears throat> some of that straw paper. And this was that really cool, um, Really cool stuff I got from Amy at Dartwood Sanctuary. Like some old, um, what do you call them, drafting, drafting pages. Another one of my uh, tea dyed, really grungy. Um, this is some drawing paper. Richard Scar, you know, I got to add him in here somewhere. And then I made a really cool, this was another piece of that quilt. Um, I bought some quilt squares from Julie and I just took part of it and cut it up and then backed it with a little bit of like, I think it's like a light muslin or a cotton and made a pocket here. And this came, um, this also came in some, I, think it, I can't remember if it was in a swap or it was Happy Mail, but it's like a, it's like that tablecloth, you know, kind of vinyl. And I just thought that would be super cool in here. So I cut a piece of that and put it in here. This came from that. Um, Rand McNally book and I love these images of these um, little boys and girls in the barns and stuff and yeah so this was the um, Johnny and the birds that part of the book more scrapbook paper thought this with the feathers would be really cool this came from some fabric that um, 
a friend of mine gave me a long time ago and I've been using, I cut a lot of these pieces out and I've been using this up. Still have a few. Uh, and then on here, I put a little eyelet and I just took a little um, garment pin and added some little buttons. But she can take this off. She can add whatever she wants to there. I put her put her a nice little goodie pack together. Um, I won't show y'all that, but that'll be a surprise for her. Y'all know I always add stuff. Added some more little fabric pieces here. <clears throat> this is when their little pier sank. <laughs> And I did a lot of sewing and adding stuff. This actually creates a pocket that she could glue over this and just add something here or she could tuck things in there. And then there's these smaller pieces that I didn't extend that she can add other things to or she can keep it like that and do journaling here. There's that Richard Scarry. I always have to add him in here. I love, love his books. More um, cardstock, drafting, the straw paper, an extended, another extended uh, cardstock page to some scrapbook paper, and then here is the, here is the folder. <clears throat> I just took one of my old recycled green file folders, and I didn't fold it up. I cut it into pieces, and I made these pockets and stitched around it, and then added her just um, some of the scraps left over some other little scraps of map pages. I added her some of my fabric, my scrappy fabric washi tape, and just a bunch of goodies here for collage and tags and whatever. Um, Double-sided scrapbook paper here. This is a pocket. This is wallpaper. It's also a pocket. Another map page. Another little um, ruffle trim here with quilt fabric. This came, this is, um, this came from my old nautical map, my North Carolina nautical map book. That was a really big book, book that's vintage that, um, I started using some of these pieces. I thought this would be cool since there's ocean stuff in here and map stuff and they were fishing, you know, um, this is Pier Live Bait Rigs for King Mackerel. I just thought it was kind of cool. I love the colors. Uh, another tab here. I just had a little piece of quilt scrap. There's an outlet there. This is a um, a envelope that I just cut it to give her a pocket here, and then I added one of my hidden paper clips. And this one just goes on like this, so she can move this around wherever. But it also gives her a closure. She can tuck things in there and use this as a closure. And then there's a tag in here. So while well, I really try not to make, I try not to make things too themey, um, but I also try to keep it sorta, like this is a little boy and a little dog, and there's, you know, there's a dog and there's a little boy and, you know, um, that kind of stuff. Anyway, and you know, they do, they're fishing, they're outside. They meet the bears, they go to the ocean, you know, all that good stuff. So I try to keep it. And then here, so I started making some other little embellishments because I've just been doing all kinds of stuff. I've been making these flowers. I'm gonna digress for a minute. So I've been making a bunch of these flowers again and I have a whole nother bag full of those. And then um, I wanted to do some different type you know, trying to use up scraps, but I swear every time you start using scraps, you make more scraps and then it's just, they just multiply. Anyhow, I made like a little fabric banner or paper clip. I thought this turned out really cute with just some of my little scrap. Um, this is actually a scrap piece of the, um, the grain sack, like the hemp grain sack, uh, European grain sacks that I had, and then a little piece of burlap and little quilt pieces and one of my little flowers and a little button. So I just, you know, kind of folded this over, put the little scrap of burlap, those, those little scraps, and then ran it through my sewing machine, okay? And then I came back and just added the flower and the button with the garment pin, but then I stitched the little buttons on there. I just thought it turned out cute. So I'm gonna add that in here for her. 
and she can move that around. She can actually take these things off if she wants to and move that so it's flatter and not as bulky. Um, some more art paper. And then with this signature, and I did put buttons in all three signatures. And then here's the C part, which is part of my favorite. I love, I just love this. The illustrator, um, I think her name was Joan Davis, I believe, was just incredible. Um, there's another book that she has out. And look at that. Look at the details. She even drew, she drew the little shells in the sand. There's a little frog. Of course, around here I don't normally see frogs on our beach, but I'm sure some of them do have them. The starfish. Just just such detail. There's a little dog carrying his sock. <laughs> or carrying somebody's sock. And then here's the other side of that um, envelope. And I did leave the flap on here and I left this on here. She can remove that if she wants to. This was a recycled, you know, envelope. And then I stuck some other little quilt pieces in there. <clears throat> Anyhow, now I said I wasn't gonna ramble and I've rambled and rambled. Put one of my little tags in there in the back. And then another pocket with the um, other part. I used one big piece of this ledger and cut it down to fit and then more little scraps here the little banner and another flower and button and that's clipped on with another garment pin so she's chunky there's a lot of stuff in there for her to use um, but a lot of space if you remove this if you remove this out of here which is pretty easy to come out um, if you take that out and close it you can see she's got a lot of space there's a lot of space in here to make this make this her own and super chunky and then there's other elements that she can remove or move around but that is um, the custom journal and I'm working on some other things I'm um, trying to finish up the um, I started some little little smaller journals that have birds on them and I'm trying to finish those up. So I think that's the next thing that's gonna go in the shop. And then I have had, real quick, let me see how much time I have on here, cause I tend to just blabber on. Okay, I'm not too bad. So I wanna show you real quick. Um, let me move this out of the way. I'll put this all back together. Real quick, I'm working on, I had um, one of my subscribers asked me to show how I made, you know, the big fabric journals that I put in my shop uh, about a month ago out of the file folders and the fabric that, you know, fold over like this. So what I did was, um, these are different fabrics now. I didn't really use, I used some sheet fabric on that bird one that I showed that I did for a friend, but then the last fabric journals, I used some different fabric, but I pulled out my vintage um, vintage sheet pieces and pillowcases um, that I have in my stash. This one was gifted to me. Um, this one I think I picked up at my store, and I think this may have been gifted to me. I think this was gifted to me as well, and some Happy Mail, and some super cool Happy Mail, and I think this one too. So actually, I think all three of these were gifted to me. So what I did, I'm gonna do a video on how I did this. So I've already put, you know, a couple of these together. And then this one I haven't stitched all the way around. So I'm gonna do that on video and um, be, be on the lookout for that. That's coming soon, hopefully next week to the shop. Um, I've pulled out some file folders and some other fabric to kind of show you step by step. Um, so I'll show you how to do the cover and then maybe I'll come back in a few weeks and show you how to, you know, stitch in the signatures, how I figure out how to do that. Anyway, so that's coming. And then big shout out to um, Peggy. And I know a couple of Peggy's and I'm not sure, I'll have to look um, which Peggy sent me this. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, thank you, Peggy. Um, 
she sent me this little um, this little note in the mail, and it's a little paper clip. It's really cute, and it says, thinking of you, stay safe, Peggy. And that was so sweet. I got that in the mailbox today, so I thought I would share that. And this is super cute paper clip. Look at this. Life is what you make it, Grandma Moses. I love that. Oh, Peggy Fitzmaurice, look, there's her card right there. Duh. I'm so slow, Peggy. <laughs> Hello. Anyway, thank you very much. Um, yeah, it would have helped if I'd have looked at that. I didn't even see that. Um, but thank you, Peggy. That was very sweet. I got that in the mail today. Anyway, I hope you all are hanging in and doing well, and I love you. And uh, don't forget to go sign up for the giveaway that's open. Uh, that's the last video that I did, and um, that's open till June 15th. So go sign up if you're interested in any of the things I'm giving away. And... Love y'all. See you soon. Bye.